is my spring favorites video and it's a companion video to my winter favorites that I did. I think it was for the month of February but it really encompassed all of the things that I use to treat my very dry skin. Dry skin on my body, dry skin on my face, dry lips. But now that the summer is approaching and it's getting a lot warmer, my skin changes like that. I go from super dry to super oily. So my entire skincare regimen changes. I'll just get right in to my new spring favorites. These are things that um, are working now but maybe won't work as it gets more humid. So this is sort of like that transitioning, warm transitioning period. It's a bit awkward. I'll get into the lip products right away. So I actually have a few because I've really been going in and out of them depending on sort of like how I'm feeling that day and what event I'm going to. First thing I have is called All Glossed Up Lip Hydrating Stain and this is by Hard Candy. You can see it's in like a tube here. It looks like this. It's a little bit on the sheer side for a stain. I'm wearing it right now. The lighting is like tremendously bright. So you can see that it's a little bit on the nude side. It's definitely a lighter shade. A little bit of like a cotton candy pink. It's got like a little bit of moisture to it and overall the wearability is average. It's on for a little bit but it's it's nothing special. I've really really been liking that when I want like a nice girly fun pop of color. The next thing I have is another stain or I guess it's like a, a stain balm. It's one of the, I don't know if it's Colorish or Caresh, L'Oreal Caresh, I don't know. The balms and it looks like this and it's in 184 rows on and on. It is one of those sort of like long lasting wearable lip tints. It's supposed to have that like glossy look that a lot of the actual uh, Korean tints have I find. So there's a swatch of it. It actually looks quite sheer but you can build it up. Again with this the wearability is like average. It's nothing overly amazing but I really love the color. It's kind of like the hard candy one that cotton candy pink or like bubblegum pink. And the last one and probably my favorite of all of them is a Revlon Just Bitten Stain. And again, you can see I'm kind of going with this like cotton candy pink theme. It's got the balm on the end, which I don't tend to use. That's what it looks like there. And it actually is quite faint, but it does, when you apply it to your lips, give this like really, really nice color that looks a bit of life to you, but it's not that overimposing. It's really, really good for day to day. Next, I will get into the blushes. I've been going in between two blushes for most of, well, I guess, April and May and even a little bit of March. So I have these two here. This one is like a tint or I guess almost like a cream blush. And then this one is a powder blush. So the powdered one is by Etude House and it is in Raspberry Tart. As you can see, it's so bright and extremely pink and you have to be really careful when you're applying this. You just need the tiniest amount and it goes a long way. And then I have the Benefit Posy Tint and I am in love with this product. There are not a lot of products I really love just because I have high expectations and I'm really picky but this cream or tint blush is phenomenal. It would definitely work on tons of skin tones, maybe not dark, really really dark skin tones, but anywhere from like fair to like beige or natural. You can see it right here and it is quite faint, but um, like a lot of lip glosses I was talking about, you can build it up and you get this really beautiful natural color and the creaminess of it kind of gives it like a sheen. Not always the best thing for oily skin, but I don't really care because I just love the color so much and this is definitely probably my favorite blush product of all time. I will move on to concealer and mascara. I did mention in my last video that for every one of my favorite videos, I kind of want to go over a concealer and a mascara because those are the two things I wear the most and the two things I probably buy the most of. For the concealer, I wouldn't say holy grail, but on the cusp, and I've been going in between or sometimes even combining these two products. Here I have the Pixi Wake Up Concealer and it's in one of those sort of like twisted cap ones. I'm not crazy about these twisty ones because I find that it's just 
such a waste of product and you get such little product um, but the formula for this is really great it's a little bit on the sheer side but it's so manageable and the color really suits my skin tone which has been hard uh, a hard thing for me to find recently uh, as I'm sort of starting to tan a little bit more so I'm in number two nude so I believe there's one lighter than this it was a little bit on the pricey side but I find that a concealer is an investment piece so it's okay to sort of splurge if you find something that really works for you because that one's more of a liquid concealer I also opted for a cream concealer this is the pixie eye bright kit and inside it looks like this you can see the dome has four separate colors in it you've got um, sort of a natural cream beige color a yellow tone a pink tone and then a highlighter so what I've been doing is mixing the pink with the two basic um, like tan or cream colors and then blending just depending on like what my skin tone is that day. Sometimes I have a bit more like a pink undertone. It got me through days where my skin was just like super red and pink. And so instead of getting that like reverse white raccoon eye around my eyes with like the white concealer, I'm able to kind of blend or transition in the color of the concealer into uh, the rest of my skin tone. And this was also a little bit on the pricey side, but so, so worth it. This offers you that ability to sort of mix your own tone for that day and it is great. Now on to mascara. This is the absolute best mascara I've ever used in my entire life and I realized that that is such a big statement to make especially for me but oh my gosh every day when I put this on it's like one coat done such low maintenance that is a big thing for me I don't want to like sit there for 10 minutes and apply mascara. I want something quick and easy that doesn't clump and um, gives me volume. And this mascara is the Rocket Volume Express by Maybelline. And I'm sure you've probably seen it on YouTube. So many gurus have talked about it. And that's why I wanted to try it out. And I got it on sale at Target for like $5, which I figured like if it sucked, it didn't matter. But this is insane. I get like a lift in my lashes like a curl that lasts all day I'm maybe that's not a big deal to some people but for me I have really long lashes so they tend to sort of like flatten out because they're heavy and there's like quite a few of them so I get this like very sort of like horizontal eyelash look but these this mascara is able to like curl them up and really extend and showcase that length which I'm really happy about and it's a little bit of a pain in the butt to take off at night because it sort of applies in like these shafts. I don't know if I'm explaining this correctly, but you basically have to like take the shafts off of your eye. It's not like a liquid that just kind of comes off. It's really crumbly. Um, but this does not crumble during the day. Like you don't get fallout under your eyes. I just, I can't say enough good things about this mascara. I'm paying like between five and seven dollars. So so worth it. Now on to skincare. I've been uh, not using masks so much recently just because it's been really warm and I don't need that extra nourishment or like moisture from a lot of the masks that I have. But one mask that I have been using to kind of maintain or control oil but still give me a nice hydrated look is the Skin Food Black Sugar Wash, wash Off Mask. And this is a Korean product and it's fantastic. It's a sugar scrub, so it exfoliates your skin, but eventually the sugar kind of dissolves and I just leave the mask on for like five minutes on my face. And when I take it off, you have this really nice, polished, hydrated look, and I feel like my skin just glows afterwards. So I've really been liking that, and I'll just show you um, what it looks like on the inside. So it kind of looks like poo a little bit, but smells like lemons lemons and sugar and it's uh fantastic and you can get these on ebay or uh, if you live in markham you can get them at the skin food store there or uh, if you live in korea you can obviously pick these up pretty much anywhere next product is kind of a three in one maybe even some people would say like five in one product the holica holica miracle real skin finish cream and this isn't um normal to dry skin so I bought this in the winter when I had really dry skin there is another one like this same formula but it's for oily skin so 
I'll probably get that now. But basically what this is, is a moisturizer. It's also um, got SPF in it, so you can use it as a sunscreen. And it also is like just a little, little, little bit on the tinted side. So you get like this very minimal coverage on your skin. And I find for like an everyday look, this is fantastic because I hate wearing foundation, even BB creams now. It's too heavy and I don't like that feeling. And I so this is like perfect, absolutely perfect. I can control um you know sunburns i get that moisture and it's also got like that little bit of coverage so perfect product definitely recommend this for someone who is low maintenance and wants a very low maintenance all-in-one kind of product and you can definitely get this on ebay the last thing i'm actually really excited about because i've just been sort of doing my research and getting into this phenomenon in korea there is this popular product called a steam cream and it's a moisturizer. I was at a bookstore and I found this and it is a steam cream here and it is from Great Britain so it's actually not Korean but it's still the same properties, it's the same concept. Basically all the products or ingredients, excuse me, have been like steamed together so they're like condensed and you get this extra hydration that you wouldn't normally get from the ingredients if they had not been uh, steamed. This retailed, this was $22. If you look at it, there's not that much in it, but, oh, it's so bright. <laughs> but you honestly need like a tiny dab of this and it goes a long way. And this is the moisturizer that I use at night. So even if I get that kind of oil on my face when I wake up, it doesn't matter because I just wash it off. And then this allows my face to stay hydrated all the rest of the day and it's just amazing and smells amazing it smells like lavender I don't know a whole lot about the brand it's literally just called steam cream I recommend that if you're interested in Korean skincare uh, that you do a little bit of research and maybe figure out if this is something for you okay so I lied there's one more thing that I have that I've really been loving um, for the spring and it's nail polish it is these two colors in combination with one another. So this is Sally Hansen Hard as Nails, and it's in 230 Heart of Stone. Again, it's a bubblegum pink, in case you didn't know. I'm in love with bubblegum pink. And then this one is by NYC, and it's Starry Silver Glitter, and it looks like that. And it's got pink flecks in it, so when you put it over top of the pink, kind of it's a top coat, um, it really matches up. And when I wear these two things together, People will like stop me, not in the street, but like stop me when I'm talking and be like, oh my god, where did you get your nails done? Like, what did you do? Or like, what are you wearing? And I just tell them like, you know, I use these two products. The combination for me and great for spring because it's nice and bright and girly and cute. This has been a really long video. I can tell because I'm looking at the time. I just had so many favorites this month and I feel like I really lucked out and got some awesome, awesome stuff. So... If you have any questions about anything that I reviewed, um, where I got the products, how much they cost, all that stuff, just let me know and I will see you guys in my uh, summer favorites video where I review all of the things that you need for the hot, muggy, super humid summers that we have here in Ontario, Canada. I will see you guys later. Bye!